Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be a summer shower routine. So I have changed things up a little bit in my shower with how I do things just because the weather is warming up and you know our legs are being out most of the time in shorts and so I've been kind of changing things up. I also want to be a little more tan so I'm going to do my tan routine with you guys here as well today. But yeah, it's my summer routine. I really just wanted to use the two new Sol de Janeiro products that I just picked up. Um, I picked up their moisturizing shower cream gel in Brazilian foreplay and then I did pick up their body mist in caramelized vanilla and macadamia which smells absolutely heavenly. I think this is honestly a mixture of warm vanilla sugar, um, vanilla bean noel, and something intoxicating that I can't quite put my finger on. I think it's the like white chocolate note that's in this spray. Smells amazing. So I've been dying to use it. So I'm going to use that with you guys today. But yeah, today's routine is going to be a lot of fun. And I do need to wash my hair. I need to do my tanning routine and kind of do the whole nine yards with you guys. So I'm going to walk you through the products and then we're going to go ahead and get in the shower. So first things first, I have started reincorporating my Eco Tools dry brushing technique. So I did used to have one of these a long time ago and it's just too old. So I bought a new one off of Amazon. They're like $4 on Amazon. So really good deal. But I do like dry brushing, especially in the summer to get rid of like any veins or um, any like cellulite or things like that. It just really helps kind of tone your legs for the summer. So I have re like brought this back into my routine for the summertime. But basically you wanna uh, use this and do it in a motion towards your heart center is what I've been told and what I looked up. So on your arms, you'll do it towards your heart and on your legs, you'll do it going upwards motions. So that's just something that, that I looked up whenever I first started using these. So I've been using it ever since and it really does work. So this is the first step before I even get wet, before I even step foot in the shower, I do that. And then we're gonna be using the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Shower Gel today. Smells amazing. It smells like that classic Bum Bum Cream scent with a little bit of a floral note actually. It is so yummy. I don't think they have any scent notes on this, but it's, it's just the best scent ever. And then I am gonna do a little bit of exfoliating because I actually did shave like two days ago, so I'm not gonna shave today, but I will be doing my tanning routine. I like to, sh to um, do a good body scrub right before that. So I'm gonna be using my Dove Exfoliating Body Polish in Crushed Almond and Mango Butter. So I figured the mango would be good to kind of incorporate in this summer routine. It also just smells amazing. It literally smells like fresh mango, it's so yummy. So I'm gonna be using that in the shower. And then once I am done washing my hair, and I've washed off my body and that's all done. Right before I start drying off, I'm gonna put on my Jorgens Natural Glow and this is the Wet Skin Moisturizer in Medium to Deep. So I'm actually, I'm not gonna use this today because I am gonna self tan, but typically I will put this on every time after I shower. I'm still wet and I put this on and then I kind of towel dry really lightly, just patting, making sure not to like rub off the color. But this stuff really works to keep my tan going. So love, love, love this. And then I haven't yet decided which lotion I'm gonna use right out of the shower yet today. We'll just play it by ear, see which one I like best. But um, right now I'm using Confetti Cake Pop in the body lotion. Seriously loving this, it is so yummy. Mm, it is such a nice like gourmand vanilla scent. And then I'm not currently using this, but this is a good favorite of mine, Margarita Cupcake in the body cream. It is so yummy. I don't think they'll bring this back out for the summer, but it is such a good scent. I picked this up at last summer SAS. The notes are key lime, sunny citrus blossom, and whipped vanilla. Honestly, such a yummy scent for summer. Mm, just like so nice and fresh. And then on top of that, I'm gonna be using, like I said, my Sol de Janeiro Caramelized Vanilla and Macadamia Body Spray. And for the last step for perfume, I'm gonna use for the first time actually this little mini one that I have from the Mix Bar. And this is number eight coconut palm and it's like a little, tiny little mini. So I will be using this one for the first time. Hopefully I like it. Hopefully this all like meshes really well together, but I think it really will. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. And then we'll get into um, tanning once I'm out of the shower. But yeah, that is everything that I'm gonna be using in the shower today and out of it. And then I will also show you guys the um, self tanner that I use and like how I go about doing that process. So. 
Yes, this will be a longer tutorial, so go ahead and grab a drink or a snack and let's hop into the shower. before I do my um, self tanner because I don't want to have any like weird patches on like my elbows, my hands. I put it pretty much on any of my joints. So I'll put it on my shoulders, elbows, hands, and then I'll also put it on like my armpit. I'll put it my knee, behind my knee, my ankles and my feet. And that's about it. So I just do like a light layer all over those places just to make sure that the color doesn't like stick there. And I am using the Confetti Cake Pop right now just because I'd rather do that with a body lotion than a body cream because I'm not really doing this for moisture right now, more so just to protect my um, skin from having like weird blotchy patches. So I pulled out all of my self-tanning supplies. So the brand of tan I use is called Mine Tan Body Skin and the color is olive super dark olive bronze finish so this is what i use and i mean i probably don't need the super dark one but it works really well for me and i'm italian so i do have like an olive tone complexion so this one really worked i actually got it i think in a fab fit fun box on accident so i didn't even pick it out but it worked out totally um amazingly and i've already bought i think two more backups since then so really love this stuff oh i did forget though I do need to put on some moisturizer because I do actually contour my face with the um, self-tanning mousse. So I know it's kind of controversial just because um, people might be allergic to it. I myself am not allergic to this specific brand, but obviously patch test before you go forward with doing that on yourself. But I will show you guys what I do for my um, contour tanning and then I will um, leave it at that but and then the two tools that I use to put on my tanner are the mine tan little glove like little mitt you could do this in like a two pack I think it was like a combination pack you got the mousse and the glove so I did get that and then I also bought this off of Amazon it's the Bondi Sands um, I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's like a wand and it's double ended so this side is like velour so it's pretty much the same fabric as the like tanning mitt and this is good to get little spots on my back just in case like you miss something so I'll apply like a little dot on here and get the middle of my back with it and then I use this little like spongy thing actually to blend it all out because this one is a flat surface so it's not going to necessarily get all the curves and crevices like in between my spine my shoulder blades and things like that so this one actually is really good to kind of blend it all out so I really really love this thing and when I'm done with both of these, I just wash them out in the sink and then I leave them out to air dry and they're totally fine. So I've had these going on about a year now and I've been using this self tanner for about two years now. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what I do for my face first. So I use this little crown brushes. I think this was a blush brush, but it's like a really nice tapered edge on both sides. So it's like pointy in the middle. And what I'll do is I'll contour basically where I'd put like bronzer. I'll put it underneath my cheekbone, right up here on my uh, temples, a cheekbone again, and then I love to do my jawline because this really makes you look chiseled. I'll do a little bit right here for my chin, and then I will take whatever's left and do just a tad down my nose, and that's about it. I only let the self-tanner stick on my face for an hour, but I'll leave it on for my whole body, like all my arms and legs and stuff, 
for two hours. So I like usually set a timer, just come up, wash my face, and then I'm good. So yeah, let me go ahead and do my face first. Okay, so this like looks really scary, but trust me, it's really not that bad. So I'm gonna start with the cheekbones first. And once you get rid of a little bit of the product, you can actually blend it, but I'm just gonna just place it where I want it first. And then I'll go in and start blending. And you can blend down your neck. It's just really nice to get like a more defined jawline. And then see right here, I'm gonna make it a lot more blended on the edges of the contour, which really helps having this kind of brush. And if you make a mistake, it's totally fine. Honestly, just take a wet wash rag and just kind of like clean it up. I've done that before, just before it has time to set in. But this is pretty much done actually. Let me get my nose just a tad. And then I like to do right up here, kind of eye contouring as they say, right up on the sides of my temples too. Just makes you look like your eyes are a little more elevated. Okay, I think I'm done with that. So I'm gonna do the rest of my body and then I'm gonna set an hour timer and we will wash off the face. So I'll see you guys in about an hour. Okay, it's been an hour. I just washed my face off. You can't really tell anything like right when you wash it off. So um, it really develops like overnight in my opinion. So you're not even gonna be able to see like the biggest difference, but yeah, I'm gonna set a timer for another hour and then I will wash off my body. I usually just hop in the shower and do lukewarm or even like cold water don't do hot water to wash off my self tan and then I will be back. Okay guys, I just washed off my self tanner and honestly, I can already see a difference. I'm definitely darker than I was before the self tanner. So I really love that stuff. Um, but now I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lotion. I did decide I think I'm gonna just do confetti cake pop because I really don't need the moisture of margarita cupcake right now. And actually I'm gonna go change into some PJs first because I'm just gonna laser on the house the rest of the day. So let me change real quick out of this robe so I can actually put on lotion on my arms and I'll be right back. Okay, much better. I'm wearing my little Victoria's Secret uh, PJs that I got for Christmas. I need to go pick up like five more sets of this because I swear I wear it every other night. I wear it very often. So I definitely need to pick up more sets of it. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting on my lotion. I really hate putting on lotion in my bathroom because I have nowhere to put my legs up on, so I'm literally putting them on the counter, but that's fine. Also, who else is getting eaten up by mosquitoes lately? I have, I counted it yesterday, 12 mosquito bites, and I think six of them were on one leg, so I guess it's time of year to start wearing bug spray everywhere I go outside because I'm just getting eaten up and there's like no way to stop them. So I'm just gonna be smelling like off and I'm sorry about it, but it's honestly the night walks that I do. I don't do walks at night, but I do them at like maybe four or five o'clock after I get off work. Sometimes I'll do them or even just like standing outside with the dogs while they go potty and then I'll just get eaten up. I did get us like a little bug um, solar powered like bug lamp, you know, that like zaps them if they come near it. So that I think has helped our backyard a little bit, but I still can't get away from them. Like I still keep getting so many bites. So let me know if you guys have a like home remedy for that. Like if you put aloe or something on your skin and bugs are not attracted to that. Let me know if you know something like that. Okay. I am gonna stay inside, but I really do wanna try out this perfume, even though I'm not gonna go anywhere, um, in Coconut Palm, so let's try it out right now. Ooh. Mmm. Oh my God, this is like juicy vanilla coconut. Oh my gosh, you know what this reminds me of? I think. This is like a mixture between coconut cream pie and copper coconut sands. This smells so good. It honestly could pass for the coconut cream pie perfume. Okay, that's a lie. Not copper coconut sands, just coconut cream pie. That smells so delicious. Oh my God. Mm. 
I'm gonna have to put that in my summer project use it up because I'm gonna put in coconut cream pie for the summer because I'm dying to use it. it is so yummy so my gosh that one smells so good okay and now I'm gonna spray the Brazilian crush um, perfume spray I'm gonna do my hair later on tonight but I'm not putting on any makeup or anything because I'm not going out so I'm gonna do my skincare after this but oh my gosh that smells delicious like oh I could just eat that up that smells so good okay well that is everything for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this little summer body care routine this is pretty much what i will do for most of the summer days besides days maybe where i'm like shaving then i'll do that but that's pretty much going to be it for my summer routine and i will have my summer project use it up coming out soon the first week in june so keep a lookout for that but that is everything for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!